Hello financial fans, uh, the year's going by fast, we're into February already and during January and February I've already bought and sold some stocks and uh, the stocks that I sold were stocks that they were performing quite well and everybody wanted them but I sold them while they were popular and uh, locked in some good gains and we will begin with what I'll do, I'll just tell you in January, you probably already have heard this from me but I uh, let's see, buy, I bought EQNR, bought EQNR on January 6th of 23 for $31.86. I sold, this is January 10th of 23, I sold CAG, ConAgra, a good performer for me, I made some money on that. I sold it for $40.42 per share. And uh, on 124, I bought ET for thirteen dollars seven cents, and on two uh, two into February, the Groundhog's Day two two, I bought uh, no, I sold I sold Meta Facebook Facebook. I did make a little bit of a profit on there, not much, but I sold META, which is Facebook, for one. Ninety-one, $190.61 per share and um, I bought on two, uh, I think it's three, uh, uh, the third of February I bought uh, 100 of STLA for $16.29. I bought 10 shares of ELO on 2-3 for $133.03 and I bought two other stocks. I bought MPC and PSX. I bought MPC for $119 a share and I bought PSX for $99 and I think that's uh, 17 18 cents a share $99 and those four stocks that I bought on 2 3 February 3rd those will be the stocks I will be uh, showing you today about stocks to consider and I did consider them and I bought them and I did not uh, buy a lot I uh, a lot of my purchases uh, amount to about 1% of my total portfolio and I've got about 65 stocks and there are a few that uh, I might own as much as 5% of my portfolio in one stock. I keep a uh, wide diver diversification. Uh, it was once said by uh, uh, a famous buyer known as Warren Buffett uh, that diversification is not important. What you want to do is buy a good stock that is easy for him to say because he can get on an airplane and go to the home office of whatever company he wants to buy and he can say show me the books. I can't do that. I have to look at uh, Yahoo's pages or the pages of my broker TD Ameritrade. Uh, I don't have access to all the uh, easy, uh, I probably shouldn't say easy, it's uh, still uh, a trick to pick good stocks but uh, I think Warren Buffett would agree it's good to be diversified when a certain sector suddenly surprisingly gets attacked and uh, the stocks start going down. But with that in mind, let me talk about uh, my portfolio versus the uh, major indexes. Major indexes, SPY is a major index, S&P 500. It is up so far this year, 2023, it is up 6.27%. That is a nice upward move. QQQ is up 10.65% year to date. Diamonds, DIA, Dow Industrial Average, up 2.91% so far this year. My portfolio is up 10.36% so far this year. So the uh, NASDAQ is beating me with 10.65% percent uh, increase year-to-date value and my uh, portfolio has a uh, gains thus far of 
10.36%. Now, let's uh, take a look at some stocks here to consider. These are the stocks I bought, and I do own these stocks, and uh, we'll take a look at, uh, to begin with, we'll look at MPC. MPC is Marathon Petroleum Corporation. We see that it closed at $118.20 per share on the last uh, trading day, Friday, and it was down 1.42%. And after hours, it's uh, unchanged from that closing price. Column on the left, two-thirds of the way down, the 52-week range for MPC. $72.75 per share was the low price for uh, the past 52 weeks, and $136.46 was the high for that uh, stock. The average volume, almost 4 million shares trade every day, and this stock is considered to be undervalued. Middle column, third item down, P.E. ratio, 4.22. That's a nice low number. We like low numbers for the P.E. ratio. The earnings per share, $27.98. Uh, that's a big uh, earnings number for a stock that's selling for $118.20. The forward dividend and yield, small, 2.44% uh, dividend. And the one-year target estimate, for MPC, $143.21 per share. Next, we look at another oil giant here, Phillips 66, PSX. PSX is the symbol. And it closed on Friday, tiny uh, movement there. It uh, closed at $98.81. Later, it went up uh, $0.19 cents to $99 even per share. Uh, this time after hours. The 52-week range for PSX, $73.85 was the low and $113.53 was the high for the past 52 weeks. Average volume, about 3,200,000 shares trade each day. And this stock is considered to be undervalued. Middle column, P.E. ratio, third item down, 4.25. And the uh, forward dividend yield, 3.96, about 4% uh, yield at this time. And the one-year target estimate for uh, PSX, the one-year estimate, $123.64 per share. This is uh, another oil stock here. And... Next, we look at Stellantis, S-T-L-A, S-T-L-A. That is a symbol, and uh, closed at $16.33. Later, went down a little bit more to $16.26 per share uh, currently. And the 52-week range, $11.37 was the low, and $19.00. 86 cents was the high for the past 52 weeks, the average volume. Uh, 5,342,000 shares trade each day, and this stock is considered to be undervalued. The P.E. ratio for STLA, 3.10. Looks pretty nice. I liked it. I bought the stock. Forward dividend and yield, 6.75%, and they get that from a dollar nine cents. Um, even though they had earnings per share of five dollars and twenty-seven cents, they uh, won't have much trouble if uh, that continues. Uh, if they want to pay a dividend of 6.79%, uh, the one-year target estimate, nineteen dollars and eleven cents. And the uh, next and last stock we'll look at today, Valero Energy Corporation. Energy again. VLO, the symbol, it was uh, down a little bit on Friday to uh, $131.73 per share. And it uh, still is at that price after hours. The 52-week range, 
for Valero uh, Energy, 52-week range, $79.65 was the low, and $166, or $160.16 was the high. Average volume, almost 4 million shares trade every day, and this stock is considered to be, everybody, undervalued. P.E. ratio, 4.54, nice low P.E. ratio, we like low P.E. ratios for dividend and yield, uh, about 3% uh, dividend, uh, so you have a little bit of money coming in if you just uh, leave it in your portfolio and don't sell it, uh, but that is a small yield uh, with today's inflation rate and the one year target estimate $159.60 that would be nice and I thank you very much for watching